Devil's Kitchen Lake in Southern Illinois in the Crab Orchard Wildlife Refuge, National Wildlife Refuge. And uh, this is like one of my favorite places on the earth. Been fishing here since probably the mid 90s. We just come down here and just just fill up coolers full of big bluegill and uh, recently discovered there's some crop decent crappie to be had in this lake too so uh, we're kind of on a dual mission today we're gonna do some we're gonna do some uh, crappie fishing maybe they, they might still be in the spawn pattern uh, and then along the way we might try to trip over a few bluegill beds too so ought to be a good day weather's pleasant tiny breeze hopefully my battery holds up because i didn't get to charge them well <laughs> happy place. Devil's Kitchen in Southern Illinois is mine. Many years ago I used to come here with my friend Brad and I fell in love with this lake. Brad has since passed on and I hope he has a great place like this to hang out where he is now. A lot of, there's a ton of vegetation in this lake too so it's kind of hard to you gotta kind of pick your spots in terms of uh, finding bluegill beds because you're just cast in the bank. Nine out of ten times, you're going to drag back a bunch of vegetation. So you gotta gotta look for those open areas where the where the fish have worked the beds and kind of cleared it. So I want to give a shout out to Thunder uh, Thunder Lure Co. Uh, bait shop in Carbondale. Uh, we trouble and find some minnows this morning because apparently some of the bait shops around here don't think don't think people crappie fish with minnows on Sunday. We made the trip down from St. Louis for about 15 years straight for a week in the spring and I can't think of a place on earth that I like more. I recently moved about 15 minutes down the road so I'm going to have lot, lots more opportunities to retreat to my happy place. So the rumor is that the lake was named by the First Lady when she and POTUS visited the construction sites in the refuge one hot summer in the late 30s. She, suppos she supposedly made a comment that it was hotter than the Devil's Kitchen and the name stuck. Don't know how true that is, but it is a fun story. And for some reason, we tend to find them bluegill up, up around sycamore trees. I'm not sure why that is. fish out on the edges of the weed lines here, you catch a million of those things. Nice by wax one. And a reason that I like to use the uh, jig and wax worm versus crickets is anybody anybody has used crickets before you know you gotta 
you gotta chase them and chase them around the boat. And <laughs> they're uh, cantankerous. They end up all over the boat. Birds get after them. And they just they're hard to somebody. They're hard to manage. A little better one. Ain't no eight incher though, boy, you swallow that. What is so great about it, you ask? Well, I'm glad you asked. This lake is de the definition of peaceful. No jet skis, ski boats, gas burners, highway noise, just peace and quiet. Listen to the background noise. Apart from the noisy bubbler from a minnow tank, you hear wind, water, birds, and that's it. There's always wildlife to see. Beaver, muskrats, squirrels, deer, bobcats, turtles, and birds. The fishing is really a secondary thing for me, but there are tons of bluegill, bass, crappie, and there's even a reproducing trout population in this lake. Rumor also is that there's actually yellow perch in the lake too. Those are on my bucket list, so I'm gonna have to do a thorough investigation of that rumor. Full of them, and just pulling them in like this. So this was just a little fun day of fishing for me. Not keeping anything, just catch and release. Didn't find any crappie, but I will revisit that with the live scopes assistance later on. I found beds of bluegill, and I was throwing, back, throwing a tiny black jig tipped with a waxworm. I've told my family that when I pass on, I want to be cremated and my ashes distributed in Devil's Kitchen Lake. I can't think of a better place. Till next time. So that's going to do it for this episode, but make sure you check out the all-new My724Outdoors.com page. 
Hit up the forums and post your adventures. It's great stuff. Also, check out my socials at Panfish Guy on Facebook, Daniel Palmer5623 on Instagram, at PanfishG on Twitter, or my webpage at panfishguy.com. Log on and grab some swag for your favorite fisherman. If you like this video, please like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. Rub a little fish slime on that notification bell so you'll be notified when I infrequently post a video. Hey! Knock it off!